A 29-year-old woman, G3P2, at 39 weeks gestation, is admitted for labor induction due to blood pressure of 155 over 90. She has a history of chronic hypertension managed with methyl dopa. Ultrasound shows fetal growth restriction, and four hours after starting oxytocin to augment labor, the cervix is six centimeters dilated. A fetal heart rate tracing is shown. So as you can see, this is the uterine contraction, and we see fetal heart rate decelerations after the uterine contractions. So what do you think is going to be the most likely explanation? A, compensated fetal stress. B, umbilical cord compression. C, pressure on the fetal head. D, uteroplacental insufficiency. Or E, normal fetal heart rate. What do we think is the best answer here? Excellent. If you are saying D, uteroplacental insufficiency, you are absolutely correct. Remember, there is a mnemonic, feel, chop. What veal chop tells us is that variable decelerations are going to be due to cord compression. Early decelerations are going to be due to head compression. Accelerations are going to be normal. And L, late decelerations, which is what we see in this question, is going to be due to utero placental insufficiency.